Evening all, and welcome back to Kerbalism. So I've flown around in the science plane a bit, going to all the different biomes I could possibly go to, and I've managed to get up to 85.7 science here. It's a bit slow going, because uh, there's only so much you can do on Kerbin. Uh, particularly, Kerbalism takes away all the extra biomes you get around here, that I believe, although I've not actually tested that. I believe it takes away all the extra biomes here. So, um, so yes, yeah, so you only get basically um, Mystery Goo and the science container are literally landed low flying high flying orbit and that's it there's no different biomes room but um some of the reports do have different biomes i didn't test around the ksc maybe i'll do that later but uh we do have uh, a way to get some science by putting a, a probe in polar orbit i believe it was um to do uh yes uh suggested by sir mortimer thank you very much yes who uh actually one of the developers of kerbalism uh if we stick a probe or two or three into uh that one did not work that was i was testing trying to get the uh science junior to go into high or flying high orbit uh high, sorry flying high um and uh i need better planes for that i can't do it with uh rocket it doesn't, doesn't stay there you need to have that running for 20 minutes and i can't keep it up in in a orbit for more than 20 minutes so if we get a probe um we have access to here you go, um we have access to telemetry uh which you can see here landed splashed flying low and flying high all the biomes there but if we go to the science junior um, oh, I can't actually see the information there, but if we bring up the science tab there and go science junior, where is it? Science material study, that's the one. Wow. Uh, for Kerbin, it's got landed, splashed, flying high, flying low, space low, space high. That's it. There's no biomes for this, so you don't get all the different biomes. Yeah, there you go, situations. Whereas this one, the situations, you see it says biomes. So but you can get more out of that. So if we go, uh, we could add that on as well. Maybe, maybe we'll add that on, I don't know. But um, if we go with this one, the telemetry report, um, can do space high and space low. So we want that, that's fine. We can only have one um, experiment per probe. So we're going to have to have more probes. That's the best way to do it. So we'll stick another probe on there. And uh, we will configure this one to be... Uh, we don't need the thermometer. We don't need the go counter. And we... Uh, light will work. Yep. So we've got space high and space low for light. So there's that one. Um, we'll then copy that to there. Configure that. Then we go with might, which is space low biomes and space high. So if we have a low one, this will give us even more information, which is awesome. Copy that, put it there. And then we have sites, which is space low and space high biomes. So that really wants to go up to a higher orbit. So we could, in theory, kick this up into a higher orbit as it goes. But I kind of want to stop there i think um I'm not going to put the site one on it because we'll launch a second probe which will have sight and might um, for that so we've got telemetry which just does one space low and one space high so we'll only get one report from that we don't want those uh, although surface space high space low i think we've got this space ho high, uh, low and high guy counter has all sorts of weird things space global in about outer belt all that sort of thing uh, light just has one or the other, so maybe we won't be involved with light. This one, but might is space low, and sight is space high. So if we go with sight and might, this one here, that one's might, and then we put this in an orbit that's going to go between space low and space high. I don't think that gives me information as to what high and low is. Be nice, um, and then we've got that one there, which is the that just will give us one or the other. So, so that covers all our bases, and we can put it into different biomes. I suppose then, if we're going to do that, I might as well do. Uh, hold on, 
I feel as if I missed something here. So we got light, might, sight. So light, might, and sight, correct? Uh, light, might, sight. So we don't need that one. And that's telemetry. Yep, there we go. Okay, so that's all the information we need. And all of these can be broadcast back to Kerbin. So we can stick a antenna on the back here. If I ever get my rotation keys correct, like so. And there we go. And that will come back to Kerbin, and that'll be fine. And that can just stay in orbit. It doesn't even need to return. So I'm not going to put the Science Junior on there. Don't need it. Uh, I think I will put the... Um, monitor and the Geiger counter uh, the barometer isn't needed because that's atmospheric pressure so we won't ever have that he says yeah yeah surface flying high and fly low I haven't done a lot of surface ones for that actually I haven't landed the plane in different areas so I hadn't thought about that I think we've got all the temperature in the Geiger counter ones but I might as well put them on there because but why not? Yeah, why not? Uh, and I'm going to put a computer on there because, um, because basically that's that's kind of why. That's a terrible excuse, but a terrible reason. But yeah, um, I, I like the readout that Curl Engineer gives you, so I'm going to go with that. Bomb. There we go. Okie dokie. Right. So that's what we want to send into orbital. I'm not spoke with this. Wow. Fat finger syndrome there. Okay. So that will go into space and we'll get all the information we need and broadcast it back to Kerbin. And we'll get loads of free science for it, which is awesome. Then when we unlock new things, obviously we can send another probe up. So it'd be great. We don't want mystery goo. Again, that only does land it high low. That's something. Splash is also one I don't think I've done a lot of. Now I think about it. Hmm. Right. So. So we have that. What we want to do then is. Um, we need to build a rocket around that. But I kind of want to build. Um, not really what I'm after. I was after aerodynamic, that one there. No, we don't have anything that changes sizes as we go, so hmm. that's gonna be a little weird up there. But hopefully it'll be okay. Uh, and then I'm gonna put loads of solar panels on this because um, science requires a lot of power. So that should be able to give us loads of science which is what we want okay uh, remember where the hell I'm going uh, that's not what I was expecting hold on hold on I'm jumping ahead things that's an adapter for the next stage of fuel we don't have that yet that there put the solar panels around that put the little spark engine on there the terrier sorry um, because that will be the one to kick us up to a higher orbit so we can get a decent orbit going. Uh, Couple of wrong size, couple of, and then we're going to go with some fuel tanks. So that's the biggest fuel tank we've got, unless. No, that is the biggest fuel tank we've got. Okay. With a swivel. Oh wow, that's almost all the way there already. Right. I'm going to change that to be just pure white. And then the bottom one can be like that. There we go. That looks cool. And then we'll have a couple of boosters on it, I suppose. Uh, oh no, not eight. I don't need eight. We'll put two on. With some solid rocket boosters, just to give us that oomph to get us definitely into space. I don't think we actually need them. That's 5,000. We can go to the moon with this. That's a bit much. Although, I am very tempted to change this up so maybe it could get to the moon. Because there are biomes on the moon as well. 
what do you reckon? You reckon that's a good idea? Let's stick the let's stick a bigger tank on there. Oh, stick that there. Seven thousand. And put them down there. Oh, there we go. I should probably put a battery on this as well, shouldn't I? Because at night time it's just going to. I need a lot of batteries to do that. But yeah, so that's that's seven thousand, six thousand four hundred meters a second. Uh, let's put the cones on there, and then some form of bin. We go with four. Boom! There we go. And we do have uh, the launch towers now, so we can grab it like that, and then spin the whole thing round by one. There we go. Okay, so that should work. Don't know whether that would actually. Let's change that communitron because I'm not sure whether that would transmit from the moon. We know that one does, so let's use the high gain antenna. That way. I'm going to use two of them. Yeah, yeah, we use two of them because uh, we know they cause problems. So yeah, so that's the orbital science probe, and it can go up. Not quite into orbit on the first stage, although maybe we actually release the launch clamps at the right place and put that engine down there. Three thousand two. Put it there. Three thousand four. Okay, so. Maybe we can almost get it into orbit with the boosters and the engine, and then we can uh, do it from there. One thing I do like to do as well, once you've got these uh, stabilizers, sta stabilizers, what are they called? Launch stability enhancer. Um, if you just tweak it a little tiny bit, like that, and I'm just doing, I'm holding, holding shift. I've got the uh, the snap turned on. And if you hold shift, you can talk a little bit. If you don't hold shift, it snaps by 45 degrees or a lot more than that. If you hold shift, you just get one little snap. And then it will automatically launch in the direction of kind of where you're going. Is that down a bit so it doesn't smack into the engine? Yeah, and it will launch It will launch that way. So then you can just, that, that will help your gravity turn as you go. So, yeah. Oh, and then we want to change that over. So we want to do that and that and that. And hopefully this will be all good. Um, do I want to upgrade anything to be in much higher quality? I'm gonna upgrade the Terrier engine. Got 23 ignitions. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe that's okay. Um, it's got five. We're not gonna need five for that. They're good. If something goes wrong, it crashes and burns. That's always fun. And also, I've just realised that this is now facing the wrong direction because we want to launch it into a polar orbit. Yes, not into a, a, a that orbit. We can still do that. We can still do that. That's fine. Ready? Go. Nothing crashed. Right, stand up, stand up. There we go. Stand up. Whoa. Whoa, not, not so bad. Not so... Okay, get some speed and then we're going to go... South, apparently. I was going to go north, but I've mucked it up and we're now heading south. So, that's fine. Okay, we'll head south. Dip over. There we go. Right. Turn off the SES. Let it just lean as it goes. And those boosters are done. Dump. Launch the next one. There we go. I'm going to slow the engine right down, actually. Because we are... Getting quite high, and we're not leaning over that much. So... Just by throttling the engine, we'll lean over more as we go. Our periapsis, our apoapsis, sorry, is still 
climbing, even though we're slowing, it is still climbing, which is fine. But the uh, the longer we take to get to it, or the the quicker we take to get to it, the more this will automatically lean over. Then we can fire the engine anyway. Yeah, right, so, uh, yeah, I think just waiting for that to do it. We are still climbing quite a lot. We're still slowing down. Just back to surface mode again, please. I mean, if that ends up being just the outside of the atmosphere, uh, that would be fine. Basically, the, the apparatus is when, it, providing you didn't go straight up, if you did go at some form or angle, this will be directly level with the planet, with the, uh, the um, it'll be horizontal, is what I'm trying to say there. So if that ends up at about 70, and we end up getting there about right, then I can just fire the booster at full power, and that would have been a pretty efficient launch, I believe. I don't actually know whether throttling the engine like that is a better idea, or whether, go down. I know you want to go pretty hard when you're down the thick of the atmosphere. That's your atmosphere reader just there. When you're in this light blue part, you want to go pretty hard to try and punch through it as quickly as you can, because that's where you you lose the amount of you lose more fuel than uh, you uh, um, use more fuel to pump through the atmosphere because it's thicker. Then you've got a medium one, then you've got a very light one, then you've got no atmosphere. So that's all good. Right, let's push ourselves down a bit. No gravity out here, no atmosphere, so. Get ourselves horizontal, fire engine full whack. Does that count as an ignition? No, it's only one ignition. Okay. The throttling engine right down is actually a, a thing you could do. Try and get away with the uh, ignition system, but I don't think you can throttle it down to absolute zero. And they do have a time as well. They do have an actual burn time. So once that time runs out, they'll fail. Um, I did check the uh, the craft that I had go to the moon, and I managed to get two more ignitions out of it when it ran out. Um, I did reload that vessel and check whether it was actually working or not. And uh, um, on the four or five checks that I did, every single time at zero ignitions, apart from once, it it, it blew up me. It, the engine just gave up straight away. Um, and only once did I actually get it to fall, give me another ignition. And then it only gave me one before it gave up. So. I was very lucky, very lucky with that, and then obviously had the power cut and then crashed it into the moon, so. Lucky as you can be, I suppose, really. Right, I'm not actually sure I was very efficient at all with the uh, transfer here, because it doesn't look like... Did a good job at all, really. Um... We should be getting data now, though. Uh, yeah, that's running. The mighty is running. So we want to have... What constitutes high orbit? What do you reckon constitutes high orbit? What if we push our periapsis out to, say, 150? 160. That's about 160. Bom, there we go. Do you reckon that's, that's good enough? 7560? Still leaves us 2,466 metres a second. We can easily get to the moon with that. Awesome. Right, open experimental window. Uh, Kerbin space low water. So we are in. We are Kerbin. That's the big blue thing there. Uh, space. That's the big black thing there. Uh, low means we're quite close to the planet, and water means we're above that big blue thing called water. There. That all makes perfect sense. Let's warp around to our. Uh, perhaps this. I've, this is terrible. I should have done a polar orbit um, where we'd actually be in line with the sun. Um, because now we're going to run our battery. So, yeah. Also, did I upgrade all the... sixteen point I didn't upgrade them, did I? Only that one. Did I even upgrade that one? I don't remember. Capacity, 55 billion. Base is 1.75. Capacity 13. I didn't upgrade them. I only upgraded the that one there. Oops. Okay. That was kind of a mistake. Uh, right. Do, 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 do. 
Info. Give me the info. Turbine space low. Let's get above 160. Which we'll only do for a brief man. Info. Still carbon space low. Hmm. What was one that gave us biomes? Carbon space low. Urban space low. Okay, so we need to push ourselves up even further. What do you reckon constitutes high? Do you reckon it's going to be 200? Over 200? Yeah, let's go with 200. We got to try. Walk to periapsis. I'm not sure what actually does that. Mike's might, obviously flicking around doing all weird sort of things because it's it's not staying above one biome for long enough. So that's why. Some of them are done, some of them are not. Um, also, I don't know how I have control of this, but we're not transmitting any data back. Let's extend the antennas and do that. They can. Oh, radiation scan was not running, and temperature scan was not running. There we go. That'll help. Uh, right, where are we? Are we? Are we passed periapsis. Fire the engine. Fire the engine. Fire the engine. Uh, boom. Two hundred. Let's go two hundred fifty, just because. Just because. There we go. Two hundred fifty. Okie dokie. All right. Also, that will give us a radiation scan. Because we'll be inside that belt there. So that will give us another radiation scan. Although it won't do it at night time. But then as the planet goes around, um, we won't get any more sunlight. No, we won't. This is going to be our orbit. So we're going to be missing sunlight in certain places. That's fine. That's fine. Let's uh, walk around. Turbine Flying Shores has been transmitted back. 1.8 credits. We want about 5 credits because they got four they got that'll, that'll do there's our we're in the shade batteries are shutting down what are you carbon space low so is high like 500 or something bananas like that then about two let's get to 250 let's see taking radiation damage that makes sense Oh, stop, 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 uh, info. Go to space high, 250. Okay. Okay. So, do you know what? We're going to go around to periapsis skimp. And... I'm going to push us up to... Sort of at here. I still want to be in that belt. Let's go to 500. 500. There we go. So we're going to be plenty of time out there. It is going to be at night time, unfortunately, for a lot of this. Uh, I think as the planet goes around. Oh, where is our, our orbit? Uh, we're traveling that way. So. And our orbit's there. Ah, oh, damn it. We're going to. Yeah. So it's going to be. It's going to be dark for a long, long time. So that's not ideal. That's not ideal. I'm going to turn off battery. I'm going to leave the reliability and storm on because why not? Okay. And uh, yeah, unfortunately, we'll get more sunlight as we're up here, but we'll get dark there. There's a planet moves along because it's going across its orbit this way. Uh, unfortunately, we'll be more and more in the darkness until we get over to. Well, it's not going to be till about a quarter of a year's time when we actually be in sunlight all the time. And then, there, because our orbit should stay relative to... Our, our orbit will always stay like this, and then the planet will go round, and the sun will move from facing, signing on here, to signing on there, then here, then there, as it goes round the year. So, for half the year we'll be in the sun perpetually, for half the year we're going to be in the darkness. Should have launched it from, say, here somewhere so we can get the sun now and get the science early. But it doesn't matter. Not really. It doesn't matter. Eventually we will get the science. And this is all good, providing the ship stays intact. Everything is running. Radiation scan is running. Everything is awesome. Let's finish that radiation scan off. If we can. Oh, no. Radiation scan. Hmm. Space magnetosphere. Magnetosphere. 
Not Magneto, no. So Sight and Might are running. Didn't run out of power, that's fine. Back there, radiation scan was done. Might transmitted carbon space high, awesome. So we are getting a lot of the actual ones. Sights is is a uh... oh sights getting biomes as well, so that's going to be cool. So we get a lot of information for that. And as it transmits it back, it'll all be good. Right, let's go back to the space center. Okay, so we got 115 sights. Awesome. Um, and the reason I wanted the extra five to get to 90 points is because I, if you remember an episode or two ago, I was looking for the wheels. And I was trying to find out where the, the wheel, and I thought, that's uh, that one. That's what we want. That's the, no, no, no. Down here, 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 there's the rover wheel. There's the very simple, basic rover wheel. So we can get that, which I want to do. Now I could build a probe. We also have the control center and the power for our deployable systems, but we don't have any experiments for deployable. So we have got access to float. We want to know what float is, um, but because we have access to that wheel and it's a powered wheel, it allows us to, we could drop a rover onto the moon or onto Mimus and it could drive around and get some more science because we're currently on a quest for science that's that's what we're currently doing here we're on a quest for science once we unlock i'm looking for it here and i don't see it once we unlock the greenhouse don't even know where the greenhouse is bom, bom, bom. scanning tech Ooh. remote sciences blah 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 Not that far down, is it? Hold on a minute. Uh, advanced landing. Specialized control. I thought it was down here. My power electrics. Specialized electrics. Experimental electrics. Ooh. Um. Am I? Have we bought it already? Have I missed something here? Does Covism no longer have a greenhouse? Oh, there it is, being blind. There it is, the greenhouse. Once we get that, we can then look at reaching further out because that basically, although you can take enough food, water, and other bits and pieces with you to visit other places, if you're going to have a prolonged stay, you really need some form of greenhouse to take with you. And uh, these, oh, what am I having there? These are, uh, wait, wait. There we go. These, um, produce food for Kerbals. I don't remember. Mm, I don't remember how much they produce. Uh, harvest size is 27.56 food for 200 days. I think it's one greenhouse per Kerbal. So you need, if you're gonna send Kerbals on very long missions, you either need to send a greenhouse first and have food being made on the surface of the planet well before what's going on there. So if you say you're going to Duna, um, or you need to have lots of greenhouses. Um, it's a little bit weird, but then it kind of makes sense because how much actual we eat. Yeah, hydroponics is not enough to keep us going. But yeah, so that's, that's the goal. That's... That's when we're going to start sending a couple. We can go to the Minmus and the Moon, that's not a problem. But if we want to go to Duna and beyond, then we need a greenhouse. We need a greenhouse. Maybe we need, we need more greenhouses. Uh, the other thing that I'm kind of looking I haven't got it installed at the moment. I'm waiting for Cathane to be updated. Because uh, although Kerbalism has fuel processing in it, and it's a very realistic fuel, pro fuel processing, it's really slow. Like, really, really slow and uses stupid amounts of power. Um, it, it's very realistic. It's very um, uh, real, more to real life for it. Um, so yeah, you mine up the water, you mine up the 
uh, hydrogen or whatever and you produce fuel that way but it's just so painfully slow and caffeine just basically lets you mine up caffeine and there you go but it's not been updated to 1.8 and i did i installed it and got it working but then when i landed to try and mine stuff it didn't work so yeah but we'll see let, let me know what you think should i just stick with kerbalism and just painfully have to wait a year for it to fill up one of the fuel tanks or um uh, and you need nuclear reactors and stuff for it for the power because uh, we don't have nuclear reactors we have no we're, we're, the only power generation we have is solar and then these things at the end uh, so you'd need a vast array of solar panels um, to run the um, process to create fuel um, unless it's changed, unless I'm not aware of a change in it, the where it's that I think it, it it was changed to be a bit more realistic. So, well, it was changed to be very realistic, and I remember having a, a my own custom version of it a while ago, that um uh, many many what well, many while ago that made it actually work because you would magically gain mass, which is not what you want to do. And now it all balances, all works fine. But said you the amount of water you mine up compared to the amount of fuel you make. You need it to be in situ, it can't be in orbit, e even going from the moon down, mining come back again, uses more fuel than you can produce from the mining process. So, well that that was my experience with it last time, I said Curlism 3 is new, so maybe not. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, we shall let that carry on, I should probably get some more contracts, but yeah, we'll see. Val is still going around, 17 days left, I think next episode we'll, we'll bring her home, so I'll fast forward to that point and we shall pick the episode up with uh, Val coming back, so that's enough of me waffling, thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this one, hope to see you again next time and until then, as always, have fun.